Hey finders, welcome back to Fortune Finds. I am so excited about today's video. I'm going to be reviewing two products. They are considered clean beauty at Sephora and I've been testing them out for the last few weeks so this is not a first impressions video. I'm going to be showing you guys two specific times that I have applied these products. One of them being today and the other one being when Mike and I were in Orlando, Florida on vacation with our family. I don't want this to get too confusing so I'm going to give you guys the full rundown of both products in the intro. So this intro is going to be a little bit lengthy. If you don't care to listen to my intro and you don't really care about the specifics of the products, you just want to see the makeup application, I will put the timestamp here as well as down below. The two products that I'm going to be talking about today are the Drunk Elephant De Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops as well as the Super Goop Shimmer Shade SPF 30 cream eyeshadow. This is made of vitamins, antioxidants, platinum peptides, and barrier supportive fatty acids that defend skin from environmental free radicals. It's a gorgeous sheer bronzer that I formulated with skin health top of mind. So not me, I did not formulate this, but it came with like a little note from Drunk Elephant. Sunshine in a bottle without any sun damage. You guys know I am like a sunscreen freak. I love SPF. Your skin is the biggest organ in and on your body, so you really do need to take care of it. This does not have SPF in it, however. I will show you guys how I go about incorporating SPF when using this. It gives you a really nice glow, a really nice bronze. I, for one, am not wearing any foundation today. I think my skin looks really even. It matches my neck. I'm the kind of person where I love the sun, but I try to keep my face out of the sun. So I wear a lot of hats. I wear like 110 SPF on my face. So my face never matches my body. But now thanks to this guy, it can, and I don't have to wear a foundation. Say you have a collection of foundations and you know, you're craving your wintertime foundation. So I have a lot of foundations that I wear in the winter and then I have my foundations that I wear in the summer. But sometimes I want to wear my winter foundations. You can go ahead and put a drop or two into the foundation, mix it together, and then it's going to make your foundation a little bit darker. So it's going to help match your face. I'll go ahead and show you guys right now what that looks like. So this is my Josie Moran Vibrancy Argan Oil Foundation, and this is in the shade Cosmic. Oh my god. It just splattered all over everything. Okay. Anyway, oh my god, there's foundation all over my table. Shh, don't tell Mike. That is way too light for my skin right now. I put one pump of the Deep Bronzy and just mix it together. And voila, that now matches my skin tone. Maybe you haven't had a chance to go and get a foundation that matches your face. Maybe you've just been using bronzer to really deepen up your face to match. This is gonna be your new best friend. A little pricey, but if you think about it, if you have a bunch of foundations that you can't wear right now, if you go ahead and buy this, that just broadens your horizon and gives you a much bigger range during the summer months. So technically you won't even have to go out and ever buy a darker foundation. The other product that I'm gonna be reviewing today is the Super Goop. This is their shimmer shade SPF 30, and I purchased the shade Sunset. I just thought it was like the prettiest, bronziest color. Just like so pretty, like look at that shine. If that does not scream like bronzed goddess, I don't know what does, and that is on my lids. Love it, has SPF 30 in it. You know, you know, the more protection from the sun, the better, in my opinion, honestly. I think in total, I've tested these out maybe 10 times. So I definitely do have my pros and cons, but I do wanna give you guys a full day wear test. So that is going to be featured at the end of this video. Before we get into this video, which I'm sure most of you are dying to get into, cause I feel like I've been talking for a really, really long time. Please be sure to subscribe if you've not done so yet. It helps me out a lot. I cannot believe we are at 300 subscribers. I know you might be thinking like fortune, there are tons of YouTubers who have millions and millions or hundreds of thousands of subscribers, but I gotta be honest, when I started my YouTube channel, I had five subscribers and they were my family members. So now that I have over 300, I'm so excited. I'm so blessed and I'm just, it gives me more motivation to just pump out more content. I have a lot of things in the pipeline, so be sure to click that bell button next to subscribe. This way you get a notification whenever it is I'm uploading a new video here on my YouTube channel. So without further ado, let's stop babbling and let's get on to my Drunk Elephant and Super Goop Summer Series 
review video. Hey guys, so I'm actually in Florida. Mike and I are in Orlando with his family and today we're going to Epcot. So I wanted to try some new makeup products that I got, see if they can withstand the humidity. I do not feel confident in it because it's literally like 90 something degrees and i think the heat index for today is like over 100 it's like 107. so for foundation today i'm going to be mixing the drunk elephant d bronzer anti-pollution sunshine drops with my trusty sunscreen neutrogena age shield face oil free lotion with spf 110. i am a pasty bitch so i use pretty heavy duty sunscreen. It says to add a drop or more of de-bronzy to any drunk elephant serum, sunscreen, oil, or moisturizer for a gorgeous glow and a potent dose of protective antioxidants and omega fatty acids. So that's perfect because that's going to help prevent free radicals from damaging my skin, which causes premature aging, sagging, wrinkles, all that kind of stuff. And then it says a tip may be applied to face, chest, legs, or anywhere else you want a touch of bronze. This much sunscreen, which is the typical amount that I would apply to my face and my neck. And I'm gonna just start with one pump of this. I have not used this. And I think in this video, I'm gonna be using this makeup a few times. So you're gonna get kind of like a first impressions in this video, as well as a review, wear test, all that kind of stuff. It's gonna be a jam packed video. One pump of that. All right, I'm gonna do one more pump because I want like a little bit more coverage than that. So one more pump of the bronze, not adding any more sunscreen. Wow, shiny. Oh, wow. That is like really brown. I think it's too brown for the rest of my body. Oh my God, so bronzed. Is this too bronzed for my face? Actually, maybe not. Okay, so I kind of just rubbed it in a little bit more, made sure it was even all over my face. The thing with this is that you definitely want to make sure, look how dirty it is already. Oh my God. You definitely want to make sure that you've blended it nicely, especially mixed it well into that sunscreen because it can get a little bit blotchy. I hopped off camera and I was just looking in my little NARS palette mirror here and was just like going like this all over the skin, kind of like what you would do with a beauty blender, just to make sure it's like really blended in there. And you definitely want to check the hairline because when I first went in, like, can you see it's kind of patchy right here? So you want to like press it into the hair to make sure it's a little bit more even. And I like it, it doesn't smell like anything. It literally just smells like sunscreen. And this bronzer definitely doesn't make the SPF any thicker than it is. So if that's a worry of yours, I would not be worried. But this does a really nice job of bronzing. Seriously, like I look like I just got a spray tan. And it really gives a nice light coverage. I think anyone looks better with a little bit of a tan. You know, you wear a little bit less makeup in the summer when you have a tan. Just be very careful with this because it does transfer. I just went to go open the door that's white and I got bronzer like all over it. So this definitely needs a little bit of a wipe down after use. So just FYI, I would not throw this back in your makeup bag unless you take all of, oh, I just got it all over the bed. Err, okay. Be careful. This is the Super Goop Shimmer Shade. Very bronzy, gives a nice glow, and it has like a moussey gel texture. So I'm just gonna throw this all over the lids, and then we're gonna put on some waterproof mascara and call it a day. And I'm kind of just like blending it everywhere, pushing it into the skin. I love that, it just gives like a touch of something. I dipped my finger in twice to this pot and just dispersed it. And you can really shear this out. So if you wanted to, you could put it on the back of your hand and then dip your finger in or dip a brush in. I have applied this with a brush. I've used this before, but I literally just was like playing around with it and then took it off. So it does apply nicely with a brush, but I'm not so sure about the wear time. And now for mascara today, I'm gonna to be using my all-time favorite waterproof mascara. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Splashes Mascara. Koki Lip Liner in the shade Dusty Rose. And I'm just gonna fill them in. Fresh Sugar Rosé with SPF 15 in it. Very important when you're in the sun. And I'm just gonna throw this on over it. While this is not like the most glam makeup, I definitely have a little bit more coverage than I would if I just showered and went to the park. 
hopefully the shadow will stay on all day my bronzer will look good i am definitely going to be taking these two goodies with me and reapplying throughout the day so i will vlog with you guys while i'm at epcot just talking about the makeup again if you are interested in the epcot vlog i will put it down below in the description box for your viewing pleasure so here's a close-up of the look i think the lashes look amazing guys they're like sky high i love the eyeshadow very bronzy looks really nice and i feel like it would look beautiful with a full face of makeup so this is it i will check in with you guys a little bit and we will see where we're at we just got to epcot say hi to the people hi people i'm sweating to death but let's look at the makeup i don't know if you can see it because honestly i'm so blinded but i'm sweating to death so don't mind the sweat how does my makeup look on fleek right now i'm really hot but we're gonna see this is a good test see how this lasts i mean it doesn't claim to last that long but it does claim to have spf in it so we'll see if my eyelids are uh, burned by the end of this right here's a better here's a better look at the makeup so now that i'm not in direct sunlight i feel like the shadow looks pretty good from what i can see it hasn't like creased yet we're keeping it going i feel like the face looks bronzed Alright, so I have been wearing this makeup for four hours and it's really hot out here. Like super hot. Honestly, my eyeshadow has creased and I'm so uncomfortable in this heat that I'm not even gonna reapply it. So I think we're gonna do another test drive. Like I told you guys, I'm gonna do different days of wearing this eyeshadow and this makeup. So if you're going to Disney in July when the heat index is 107, I wouldn't recommend it. My eyes are kind of burning, but I definitely look bronze, babe. Do you think I look bronze? Yeah, bronze and soap. All right, so even though I washed this makeup wear test, we've been here for quite a few hours now, and I didn't reapply, but this is what my makeup looks like. I feel like the bronzer sunscreen looks really good. I didn't reapply. I still look pretty bronzed, but my eyeshadow like definitely broke up, so. I'm gonna test this out with regular makeup and not be at Epcot in the humidity for, how many hours have we been here? Six. For six hours, that's a lot of hours. Um, but yeah, I have to say, it's not bad. I just, you know. guys simply so we are on the same page you guys know i always like to tell you where exactly i'm at what i did with my skin washed my face using my fresh soy cleanser applied the sunday riley ceo vitamin c rich hydration cream i love this stuff vitamin c is so good for brightening your skin before i go ahead and put makeup on i let it absorb in i like to do a light makeup this way my skin just looks really juicy and fresh and hydrated and glowy so that is on my skin and then as always when you're using a vitamin c it's really important to use an spf because vitamin c it makes your skin very sensitive to the sun you guys all know i get really hot i get really sweaty especially in the summer i just get very uncomfortable so instead of putting an spf cream on over this cream i simply just went and i used my kate somerville spf 50 and it's a spray so it does dry down a lot lighter than an spf moisturizer would since i've already applied my moisturizer and spf i want to go ahead and just see what the drunk elephant looks like when i just slather it all over my face so we're gonna go ahead and do that take one pump Again, guys, this is a super messy product, okay? You need to be careful. And I'm just gonna rub this into the skin. Oh my God, it looks so dark on camera, but it's really like not that dark in real life. Make sure you get near the ears. You need to take your time to blend. Whether you're mixing it in with sunscreen, you're mixing it in with your foundation, you just need to make sure that you blend it along your jawline and I'm just bringing it down the neck. I feel like my face definitely matches my body a lot better right now. Koki concealer just because I want a little bit more coverage than what I have right now. So this is the Be Bright Illuminating Concealer. You guys should all know this by now. I talk about this concealer all the time. And I'm just gonna conceal those bags. I'm gonna bring it up here. Put some on the chin, down the nose, around my nose because I get a little red here. And then I have some pimples over here. Eco Tools sponge. I'm just pouncing this into the skin. 
If you're someone that gets irritated by foundation, you should definitely try this. I know a lot of women out there do. There are some really great ingredients in this. This is definitely something that I think would be really great for anyone who has sensitive skin. Oh, for banana powder, I use this all the time. And this is just a Morphe M53. And I'm just gonna pat this underneath the eyes. Normally I would set the lid, but I am gonna be using a cream shadow. So I feel like it'll go on a lot nicer if you put cream over cream. That's kind of just like the rule of makeup. It's not really a rule, there are no rules in makeup, but typically when you put cream on top of powder, it doesn't work so well. It kind of like grabs onto the powder and makes it pilly and just like cakey. So cream on top of cream is great. So I am gonna be putting that cream eyeshadow over that cream concealer. On one eye I'm going to be using my finger and then on the other I'm going to be using a brush. I noticed that I didn't do that the first time that I tested this out, but you know, this is why this is a multi-video video. And I'm just going to pat that into the lid. I'm going to focus it on the lid, but I am going to bring it up. I definitely don't want to put too much on because I did notice that this does crease. JH41. I'm going to go straight into the pot, pick some up, you can control it more with the brush. So it's really just about preference and it does go on really, really nicely. I just think it looks, it like blends better with the finger. The warmth of your finger definitely blends the product in and gives that like just bronzy natural look. See, this is way more pigmented on this eye than it is on this side, but personally I like this finish better. What do you guys think? What finish do you like better? Do you like the brush or do you like the finger? I am definitely interested in hearing what you guys have to say. Now I just wanna even them out, so I'm gonna go ahead, I took a little bit more on my finger, I'm stamping it on the lid, and I'm gonna bring it up. And the brows are on to do my brows today. I used the Colab Shape and Shade Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Auburn, which I think it's a little too red for my brows, so then I did go over it with a tinted brow gel. This is the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara in the shade Brownie Brows. You guys know I love this, and it's super affordable and cheap, so we got some bushy brows going on, which I love. NARS Laguna Bronzer. I'm just gonna bronzer. And this is kind of a little red on me as well, this bronzer. So I think we're just going for like a wannabe redhead kind of look today. And the bronzer went over this really nicely. It's not really patchy. It's not skipping. Oh, actually it is a little patchy. But I did throw that on without putting a translucent powder down. So I feel like I gotta give it a little bit of a break. I'm gonna grab my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette E3, Morphe E3, and I'm just gonna pick up all of the shades and I'm just gonna put this all over the face. So it's gonna help us to set the face, but it also gives a really nice shine. It just makes our overall complexion look brighter. See how like the skin just like reflects? It has like super, super fine, not glitter, it's not really a highlighter, but it is. I don't know how to explain it, but I did do a video on this a while ago. I'll link it up here for you guys to check out. NARS Dolce Vita, because I haven't used this in a long time, and I miss it. I'm just gonna apply it like right here. My favorite highlighter of all time, I really can't get enough of this, the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Resi highlighter. Oh my God, it's so good. Right underneath the brow bone, inner corner. For mascara today, I'm gonna be using the Thrive Cosmetics. This is their liquid lash extensions. For lip liners today, I'm gonna be using the BH Cosmetics. This is their waterproof lip liner in the shade Earth. Love this color. It is so so freaking pretty. It's like a mauve pinky nude. Ugh, to die for. L'Oreal Color Reese Shade 900 Glossy Fawn. And it matches my lips. It matches this lip liner. It's such a pretty color. Ugh. This is what we look like. This is our eyeshadow. Looks so far so good. And I can't wait to see what it looks like at the end of the day. Simple, quick makeup look. I love this. To finish off my look, I'm just gonna use a setting spray. This is my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I'm just gonna do a light mist, nothing crazy. 
I'm very happy with what it looks like right now, but I will check in with you guys at the end of the day. We will go over what this looks like. We will give the full rundown on the Super Goop as well as the Drunk Elephant products that we have been testing throughout this video. So I will check in with you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna go clean the house. We're gonna go bike riding. I'm gonna get some sweat on and then you know I'll see where we're at later. I do look a little shiny, but I like a nice glow. I feel like it's very youthful. I look very bronzed. My only concern is like how dewy am I gonna look by the end of the day? I'll check in with you guys in a little bit and we'll see where we're at. All right guys, I am back. I have been wearing this makeup for a total of seven hours. I was a lot sweatier looking about 10 minutes ago. I did blow dry the sweat out of my hair and put a lot of dry shampoo in my hair, so I'm definitely guilty of that. But I have not touched up my face. The only thing that I did was reapply this lipstick. My face, I did not reapply and I am so shiny. I really love both of these products, honestly. Okay, so if you are someone that has oily skin, I don't think you're going to like either one of these products. Simply because, look at my face. I am so shiny right now, especially in here. And I usually hate when I'm super shiny here, but I'm just letting it go. You're gonna look even more shiny than I look right now. And if that's something that doesn't bother you, then go ahead and get both of them. But the only thing I will say is, shiny or not, this eyeshadow does move, it does crease. So if you do have oily skin, but you're really interested in trying a, an eyeshadow with SPF, because I'm pretty sure this is the only one of its kind in the beauty industry, my only suggestion to you would be to lay this down like we did today with your finger or with the brush, and then go in with eyeshadow that matches. So like if you own the NARS Skin Deep palette, there are definitely similar shades in that palette. So you could incorporate this with some pressed shadows this way they set them because if you put a cream on your lid or a cream on your face if you set it with powder it's much less likely to move so that is just my tip if you have oily skin oily eyelids that's the way to go i'll bring you guys in to show you the eyeshadow but it does move and when it creases it kind of looks like black where it creases so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys see like right in here how it's kind of black in that crease line right here so it definitely does crease. I would say it stays pretty well on the lids. It did leave up here after a few hours. You can see it's kind of like faded from here, but the crease down, it's still there. And you know, if you're outside and you're at a barbecue or you're at whatever it may be outside in the summer, like, does your makeup really need to be perfect? Maybe it does. And if it does, I totally respect that. But for me, it doesn't really need to be perfect. Like a little bit of a crease here and there doesn't drive me that crazy. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Leave me some love in the comments. Let me know. What do you think about these products? Would you be interested in buying either one of these products? Do you own any of them? What are your thoughts on them if you do own them? How do you think they perform? Do you mind that this creases? I just, I want to know everything. And if you have any questions, please be sure to let me know. And if there is a video you would like to see, maybe there's a makeup look or a skincare routine that you would like me to, you know, show you guys please always be sure to leave it down below in the comments section. I'm more than happy to help you guys out. Or maybe there's a new product that you're thinking about buying but you don't want to take the plunge. I will buy it and I will let you know. Let me be your guinea pig. So if you are not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so. I would love to have you and also click that bell button this way you get a notification whenever it is. I'm uploading a new video here on my YouTube channel. I'm off to shower because Thank the Lord Jesus, you guys cannot smell me through the camera. So I hope you guys are having a great day, whatever it is you are doing. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, finders. Mwah.